Hello there guys and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at creating a critical chance strike critical strike chance system. Um, and what I mean by that is so you, you can get a critical strike in a game but it doesn't happen all the time. Obviously otherwise you may as well just increase the base damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at setting up um, from the first person blueprint uh, from the template. What we're actually going to do is make the system. So let me just talk you through it first of all. So inside my first person character, this is the math behind a critical strike system, um, this bit here. So as you can see here, when we, um, when we create the projectile, basically what we do is we check to see if we've, if we've crit. And the way we check to see if we've crit is we get a random integer from 0 to 100, so 0, 100% crit chance. Think of these as percentages. And we take our critical strike chance. So if we have a critical strike chance of 20 and the random integer is less than 20, then we will crit. If we have a critical strike chance of 5 and it's less than 5, we'll crit. If it's more than 5, we won't. So that's what this does here. So we have a random integer in range and we have a critical strike chance. Now, a critical strike chance at the minute is set to 0, so we will not crit. Um, if I just set that to 50, 50 for a second. So I have a critical strike chance percentage of 50%. And if I hit the ball there, you see it was 30 printed in the top left, 30 again, 10. So the 10s are non crits, the 30s are crits. So you can see there, 50-50, it's looking quite average there, you know, some 10s, some, some 30s. Um, but if I just pop back into the blueprint and drop my critical strike chance down to zero, so this is where I will not crit now. So you'll see that we only actually have 10s there. Now what I've done is create this little pickup here that increases my critical strike chance by 100%, just to show you that the system works. So again, now we're hitting 30s, and after 5 seconds that'll drop down, and we will hit 10s. So let's take a look at how this is built. So we've got the math there. Let's go ahead and delete this and take a look at how we constructed uh, this system. So I need to go ahead and remove uh, everything that I've done. Oh, apart from that, that was in there. I'm going to get rid of that variable. Compile it. We're going to get rid of these variables. Compile it. And this is the pickup blueprint. We'll go ahead and just delete that as well. Um, in here. So this is pretty much now a brand new first person template as you can see the exact same as what you get when you boot a first person template. So what are we going to do? The first thing we want to do is hop into your character blueprint. So we're going to hop in here. We're going to make two variables. The first one, these want to be integers. You can do these with floating points but I prefer working with whole numbers. It's just me. Um, so you want an integer of critical, sorry if I could spell critical, critical strike uh, rating okay and you want to have um, base damage um, you could also put in multipliers here so like if you have over um, for example let's say you had 10% crit chance then your crits would do twice the amount of damage if you had a 50% crit chance your crits would do 100% more damage well, that is the same as twice, so maybe like 300% damage. Or if you had 100% crit chance, you would do 1,000% damage, you know. So you could work in multipliers um, here. But we're not going to do that right now in this tutorial. We're going to just take a look at basic critical strike um, basic critical strike system. So we're going to... Uh, so let's, Sorry, just got a bit distracted there. Let's pop back into this. So we're going to take our base damage. Actually, sorry about this. We need to pop into what's actually going to be dealing the damage. In this case, it's the first person projectile. So I'm going to create a new variable. Again, of the type integer. And this is going to be damage to deal. So this will get this one. Uh, upon construction of an instance of the first person projectile, we're going to pass it an integer. And that will determine the damage to deal. Um, so what we're going to do is we're basically just going to print it here. So we're just going to print the damage. Um, yeah. So instead of, so at this point here, this is where you would have your damage deal to another actor. So I mean, I think I've got another tutorial up uh, previously made about dealing damage to other characters and things. So where this print string is here, this is where you would pass the damage to deal over to the enemy and take it from their health bar. But we won't do that. We're just going to print it out. Very simple tutorial. So back into the first person character. This return value here from the first person projectile is the instance of the actor that we've just spawned. So what I need to do is I need to set damage to deal because that's the variable that we've just created inside here and compiled. So at the minute, damage to deal is zero and we will, that will always remain at zero. Um, actually, we need two of these. One for if it's a crit and one for if it's not a crit. 
Uh, we now need the important, the all important uh, aspect of crit, which is RNG. So we need a random integer in range. And the minimum is going to be 0 for 0%, and the maximum is going to be 100 for 100%. We now need a less than. An integer is less than an integer. And we're going to take a critical strike rating. And we're going to see if the random integer is less than our critical strike rating. And then we need a branch. So if it is, if the, if the one returned is less than our critical strike rating, then we need to set our damage to deal to the base damage... Uh, multiplied by so this is oops sorry this is where you would set your multiplier so I'm gonna I'm gonna hard code the multiplier in so my base damage will be 10 I'm gonna multiply it by 5 whenever it's a crit I will do five times more damage than my base damage I'm gonna plug that in there so you would have if you wanted to make custom multipliers so you pick up critical strike multipliers that stack or something this is where you would uh, plug those in but we'll leave that as a hard coded 5 for now if it's false, then we just want to deal base damage without the multiplication of the plus 5 on there. So we'll plug that into there. Um, and that's about it. Now, let's just take a look at the values for this. So our base damage at the minute is 10. Let's set it so that we deal 100 damage by default. Our critical strike rating will have that set to 10% as a default. So there's a 10% chance on each hit that we will crit. Um, so instead of dealing... Sorry, so instead of dealing... Uh, what did we set it to? Instead of dealing 100 damage, we will deal 500 damage. So there's a 10% chance of that. So let's just go ahead and give that a test. But it may be quite hard to see. So 0, 0... Oh, hold on. Bit of an issue there. Base damage is at 100. Oh, we didn't plug it in. Okay. My bad. We need to obviously connect that up. So let's go and take a look again. So 100 damage, 100 damage. Let's see if we can get a 10% in there. There you go, there's a 500 there, and another 500. So there's our chance to crit. So we're getting 500 occasionally, 10%. So every 1 in 10 approximately should be a 500. Um, so that's basically a critical strike system based off your critical strike um, you know, critical strike rating. Now what I'm going to do is quickly create another blueprint that shows how we can modify that critical strike rating. So for visual um, reference, we're just going to add a static mesh. Oh. Let's just make it a cube, and I want to add a box collision, a bit bigger than the cube, and we'll just make the cube no collision just so I can run through this whole thing. Um, we need to, well, we need to pop back into the first person character, I'm going to make a custom event, and this is going to be called um, increase crit rating. So what this does then is it gets the critical strike rating, and it sets it to. Uh, wait a minute, I need to do a plus on there. So oh, again, that's a vector. So I need an integer plus an integer. So we're going to set the critical strike rating to 100 plus 100 to so whatever it currently is plus 100. So it since it since it doesn't matter if it's over 100 because it will be out of range on the random integer. This guarantees a critical strike chance. If you were to set this to something like 10, it would effectively double my critical strike rating. Or you could have multiply. You could have multiple. Like you could do. Um, you could do all sorts of stuff in here. Just think about the maths behind it. So if you wanted to do a critical strike, you wanted to pick up that doubled your critical strike rating. Instead of doing add 100, you would take the critical strike rating, multiply it by 10, and then set that as the critical strike rating. We also need a re-triggerable delay, and it's important that this is a re-triggerable one because if you get, let's say, you've got power, power these power-ups to trigger to increase your critical strike rating later on the map. Um, if you've got, if you if you just set it as a trigger, like you could run through two of them, but it would still run out after the first five seconds. If you have a re-triggerable delay, let's say you're on the last second of your first power-up, you run through another one, you've got you've got five seconds again. You could stack them, but we're not going to go into stacking them. Um, so the critical strike rating wants to be well after the after the delay so when the timers run out on your um on your power up you're going to want to set it to minus what well, we did plus 100 so we're going to do minus 100 over here if you multiply it by two you'll do divide it by two over here if you whatever you did here you do the reverse operand over here on the other side of the delay so this event increased crit rating we're going to call that on actor hit so we're going to cast a first person character Oop. Sorry. So when the first person character runs through this box, we are going to set critical strike rating. And we're not we're gonna call the function to do that rather. 
set. Uh, what do we call it? I forget what we called it now. Um, increase crit rating. That was it. So we need to call increase. We need to call the custom event from over here. Increase crit rating. Compile that, and then we'll drop one of these in the world. So what we have here now, then, so we can shoot that, and we have our standard ten percent chance to crit. You saw there the five hundred, another five hundred, couple more five hundreds. If you run over this, power up. Every single one is we have a hundred percent crit chance rating. We're now hitting pure five hundreds, um, and then the five seconds run out. We've run back down now to our ten percent chance to crit. Um, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you go about making a critical strike rating, uh, critical strike system in Unreal Engine Four. Um, this tutorial was requested by a user on the Unreal Engine Four. Um, what's the group called? Let's just have a quick look. It's the Unreal Engine Four Developers Community. So. Um, yeah, if you need any tutorials and I spot your request on that community on Facebook, I'll, I'll try and get around to making it. I'm sorry that the videos haven't been consistent recently. I just spotted this comment, figured I could make a quick tutorial for it, and therefore have gone and helped him out. Hopefully it's helped you out as well. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope the video's been helpful. As always, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment. Uh, a bit of feedback would be greatly appreciated. And um, as always, have a fantastic day. Thank you.